Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun. I'm Bill Jellin. Mike Gerwin will be joining us. This is episode number 86, Mode, or maybe Median, from a Frequency Chart. Okay, well this question came in from YouTube and I've redacted the name because uh, we're fairly sure that uh, he's asking for the wrong thing. He or she is asking for the wrong thing. So, let me show you what we have. We have this Frequency Chart here. So, the value 1 appeared 10 times, the value 2 appeared 5 times, the value 3 appeared 4 times and the person is asking for a formula that will calculate the first and second medians. Well, hang on, there aren't two medians, there's two modes. So, uh, we first tried to figure out a formula that would do the medium and, uh, median and that's hard. That, that, oh yeah, that's a tough one. And of course, anytime I'm faced with a tough formula, what do I do? I go straight to VBA. So, let's switch over to VBA and I wrote this nice little uh, thing here called unwind. It goes through all of those rows, A16 to A24, figures out what the value is, figure out what the count is and then goes for I equals 1 to this count and writes the value out to column L. Why did I choose L? It was just out there on the right hand side and there was room, increments the counter and then uh, once I have everything unwound, uh, then it's simple to put in the median. For the mode, there can be two, three, four modes if there's a tie. The mode is the value that appears most frequently. So, we're using an array formula, formula, dot, formula array mode dot mult. This is new in Excel 2010. Uh, it has to return a vertical value or you have to use the transpose function. So, I just gave it three cells. If there's more than that, then we're not going to get it. If there's less than that, we're going to get an NA. Uh, uh, so, L5 to counter minus one. I could have done that nicer or more elegantly. Um, and then just kind of put some labels in here, median mode one, mode two, mode three and unwind. So, let's run this and we'll switch back to Excel, scroll over and so, right here you see the, you can't see anything, hang on, let's roll over far enough. <laughs> There's the unwind. So, there are 10 ones, yep and then if we scroll down, you know, you'll see that all the other numbers are there, the appropriate number of times. Once I have this big long string, well then hey, life becomes really, really easy. Equal, median and then this single array formula here of mode. So, 1 and 5 are the modes, there is no third mode, there's no third value tied. Um, figuring the mode, I, I don't want to simplify what Mike has to do here. I think, I think figuring out the mode is kind of easy because we look for the max and frequency and then kind of do a V lookup and then that trick to do the second V lookup. Um, I think to get the mode. To get the median from this, that would just, oh, that would cause my head to fly off. Now, of course, Mike will probably have some way to do it. So, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Man, that VBA is kind of nice. It does it all in one fell swoop, meaning it gives you the, the median and the mode. Now, when I first uh, got this problem, the, the mode, I could figure that out, but the median, I just went, I even told Mr. Excel, there's no way I'm doing a formula. And then, of course, I had a moment of epiphany, and here it was. And it's not a crazy array formula, it's actually stealing from uh, Mr. Excel's playbook where you have extra columns and uh, to help you make your calculation. Now, the first thing I need to know is the max. What's the max number of items? So, there's 10. And then I'm going to make the numbers 1 to 10 over here because I want, I'm going to extract all the data because some, in some way I need to unwind this, right? So, I'm going to put the numbers 1 to 10. Right, because the maximum number of um, extracts I could have going this way is 10. I'm actually going to move this down one. Maybe add some uh, dark color there for the label. All right, and then I'm going to do a simple formula here. And what I'm going to say is equals if. Well, what's the, m the, the number of items I need to list this way? Well, I'm going to start saying this because this is the first one, the second one, the third one. And when I copy the formula this way, I need the dancing ants to move, but when I go down this column, I need it locked, so I'm going to hit F4 twice to lock the row, but not the column. And I'm going to say, hey, anytime that is greater than, ah, 10. Now, this one I need to lock going this way, but when I move it down, the dancing ants needs to move to the next frequency, so I'm going to hit F4 three times. All right, so anytime this is greater than that, what do I need to show? Nothing. For example, when I get down to 5, when it gets past this 5 here, then there will be nothing out here. Otherwise, please show me this. Same here. This is the value I want to unwind. But going this way, I need it locked. Going down, I need it not locked. So I'm going to lock only the column reference. All right, so that's relatively easy. Control-Enter. 
copy it over to the 10, and then double click and send it. And now I have my values, and I can simply use median, the median built-in function equals median. And median ignores text. And there is a text string, that little blank thing I put in there, but it will just flat out ignore it. There is the median. So that's for median. Now, this actually turns out to be easier uh, than uh, the mode. I'm going to do the same thing. I need to know the max, because it's the frequency, right? I need to somehow get a 1 and a 5 and put it over here, because these are the ones that occur most frequently. That's the definition of mode. Once I do that, I need to count how many of those are. So I'll use count if the range, how many. That's the whole range of frequencies. And that's the criteria. So it should give me 2. Now, absolutely, we could do a wild array formula here, because it's a straight lookup. And any time you have duplicates, you have to either use a wild array formula, which is complicated to create and may use a lot of resources or use a helper column. Now this one is pretty straightforward. I'm going to say equals. And I need an indicator that says when I find something in this row that's 10. So I'm going to say anytime that's equal to that one right there, and then F4 to lock it. Control-Enter. I'll show you why I put the parentheses around in just a second. Double-click and send it down. Now when you do this, this is cool. It tells us this, is, this row has the number I want. But there's still duplicates. Even if you have this column, if you're going to do an array, a formula over here, you'd still have to do an array formula. But watch this. I'm simply going to plus the one above. Now, I've done videos recently on this helper column to, when you have duplicates like this. In those last videos, I put a word here, which means you have to do this inside of a sum function, because the sum function can uh, ignore text. But right now, I don't have anything there, so it's just 0. Ah. It turns to from a true from a true or false to a number anytime you do an operation, right? So that's pretty handy. All right, now look at this. We have lots of duplicates. Here they weren't going to work if I was looking them up, but here it will come to our advantage because if we do well, first off, this is the number. We need to get that one and that one. When we do our lookup, we'll say do an exact match, and it will skip all over the duplicates and only take the first one. But I do need a lookup value here, so I'm going to type 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I simply do a straight V lookup. I'm going to say, hey, look up this value, comma, within this whole table, first column, F4. I need to return the item in the third column, 3. And the trick to deal with all these duplicates here in this first column and only take the first one is to say exact. I'm going to put 0. Now we're going to get a little um, NA there. And I definitely don't want to show that. So I'm simply going to use a 2007 function, if error. Now in earlier versions, and I have a video here, you have to repeat the VLOOKUP twice and use if. But if error, totally awesome. It just takes the thing, comma, and if you have an error, double quote or whatever you want there. Enter and then copy it over. All right, now if for some reason this was a 10 here, right? So then it would uh, list that there, Control Z. All right, um, median and mode. Throw it back to Mr. Excel. Mike, you always surprise me. That was pretty, pretty wild. Median, I love that one. Building a little table, just a uh, uh, good way to go. And then your. Uh, uh, equal one plus the the true above or the blank cell above, and then the VLOOKUP to get the first and the second. That uh, I never thought of going that way. That's uh, point to Excel is fun. All right, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. Excel is fun.